Welcome back to Fox and Friends. We'll talk about the art of the deal. A gallery is selling Hunter Biden's paintings. They're reportedly benefiting from Biden's presidency to the tune of $350,000 in federal COVID loans after the White House win. Now, let's bring in New York Post op-ed editor, Sorab Amari. Sorab, welcome. Um, tell us how this happened, because, by the way, this gallery only has two employees. And from what I understand, there was a watchdog group that looked at all the other galleries in the area, I think 100 other galleries in the area, and this one by far got the biggest windfall in terms of SBA loans. Yeah, it seems like initially they received a certain amount um, uh, it, that, that was, was 150000 or so, and then they, they asked for a reassessment of what their needs were under the Paycheck Protection Programs and other um, uh, COVID aid, um, and that amount got increased uh, to, I believe, 500000 um, Rachel, let's assume that's all above board. Uh, you know, maybe the, that those programs are completely sort of neutrally administered. The problem here is that no one who has a brain can deny that this is this whole art show is a Hunter Biden influence operation. That's the real problem is the U.S. taxpayer is funding what is clearly Hunter Biden trying to get people to pay him and in, in so doing essentially win fight favor for the Biden with the Biden family. So we That's got a problem. We got a statement from George Berger. He's the gallery owner, and he said, I received my PPP loan in April of 2020 when Donald Trump was president, along with countless other galleries, which, considering a global pandemic was happening, we had every right to. Most galleries received this loan. We were not unique in that. Um, you know, he makes a point. He got a loan. So did other people. As I mentioned, other galleries didn't get quite as much as he did. Um, so would you say that the biggest scandal here is one that the DOJ is not getting involved and looking at this? I mean, they're going after parents um, as domestic terrorists. Where's the DOJ? I mean, the whole thing reeks of how corrupt our our ruling classes. I, again, look, I, I have no problem with the Trump and Biden era aid to struggling businesses. But um, what are the ethical guidelines to ensure that the people who attend the gallery openings for Hunter Biden are uh, crackhead Picasso and the people who buy the art aren't influencing the White House? That's the real issue. And the White House has given no coherent answer for how they're safeguarding against this kind of corruption. So you add in taxpayer money on top of that, it's horrific. Yeah, it is horrific. Um, so, Rob, thank you for joining us. And, and, and I'm reading your book right now. It's fantastic. Um, the Unbroken Thread. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.